Hello, my dear students. My name is Dr. Mansoor Ali Khattak. Um, working as an assistant professor in English at the Department of English of Cohort University of Science and Technology, Pakistan. Um, uh, the subject name is Teaching Methodology, uh, where we are just concerned, you can say, to train the students, uh, poten potentially the very senior most students, uh, about um, the teaching principle, the teaching practices, the teaching methodology, how to teach English language. Um, so the topic is classroom dynamics um, and the classroom dynamics is very important because every teacher maybe a language teacher maybe a science teacher maybe any other subject teacher is always concerned with the classroom so classroom and classroom dynamics are very important uh, for the successful and effective uh, teaching uh, main points um, of today lectures include defining classroom dynamics uh, because um, it is very hard there is no agreed definition of classroom dynamics so I thought that uh, first we should know at least in very simple words uh, uh, what classroom dynamics basically means um, and second one identifying key parts of the classroom dynamics uh, so classroom dynamics is very complex uh, it means that it got many many you can say some, uh, other dynamics as well uh, so I would be trying to identify some key uh, parts of the classroom dynamics uh, which we need we should should uh, consider while um, doing teaching practices in a whole classroom um, is a uh, the first one is L2 learner profile I have mentioned profile uh, as we see in, in um, and profile different things uh, right from the age, from the height, from the location, from the background. So learner profiles we should see in classroom uh, dynamics and also lead a, a teacher profile. Uh, what is my profile? For example, uh, what is my language competency? How I teach? I mean the teaching methodology. What are the core contents that how I just select and picked and also organizing these very contents and presenting and then you can say getting the feedback. So different things are just involved in L2 teacher. This is why I have mentioned L2 teacher profile. I would be explaining in a couple of moments and group dynamics. And group dynamics, I think a classroom is a cluster of people. So this uh, group you can say and then subgroup, subgroup and then subgroup. Um, uh, can really be uh, you can say giving you can say more um, idea uh, of the L2 dynamics and L2 syllabus and syllabus is the agenda you can think that the teacher and the students are agreed you can say uh, to use it and exploit it you can say for learning they are selected uh, subject and at the end I would be exploring evaluation the examination system so moving on to the defining L2 classroom dynamics and its main parts so, in simple terms, L2 classroom dynamics is the interaction of L2 learner and L2 teacher for the purpose of meaningful learning in the designated space. I think there are three main points in this very definition. Interaction. Interaction of who? Um, of L2 teacher and L2 students. Or, and there is a purpose of interaction of L2 teachers and uh, L2 students. Uh, um, for the purpose of meaningful learning I mean to learn something and also this very you can say activity of interaction of L2 students and L2 teacher is always um, taking place in a very designated and very specific space which we usually call it a classroom so these are this very definition covers you can say that classroom dynamics uh, covers uh, or have parts of L2 learners, L2 teacher and also a designated space and also the purpose of all these things is just to make you guys to have a meaningful learning. Um, however, a tool classroom dynamics is complex. It means you can say that it's composed of many and also correlated um, in, in parts. Or ingredients uh, which includes uh, as I mentioned um, in the first definition as L2 learner L2 teacher group dynamics and syllabuses so let me explain that as a language teacher in the classroom dynamics we should be able to um, uh, very well 
uh, very well um, uh, the, have the idea of the L2 learner profile. So first one, personality. What kind of a personality my own learner got it? Either they are shy, either they are, you can say, expressive, either there is other, you can say, traits of the personality, uh, either they are coming, you can say, forward to say some things, either they are, you can say, hiding, either they are, you can say, um, nervous. So all these things are just included in the personality. So I think we should be able to, you can say, to know the personality of the students and that learner profile can really, you can say, uh, give you the further direction of your teaching uh, in the learning process. And effective uh, factors, are, which really, you can say, be, uh, include, you can say, how um, the learn uh, learners, uh, you can say, f have the feeling of, you can say, happiness, have the feeling of, you can say, satisfaction, have the feeling of, you can say, this likeness all these things you can say for example if a student is really hard working and uh, always putting efforts you can say in the uh, in the successful learning which we call usually call it motivation so uh, in classroom dynamics and the learner profile we should be able to know you can say uh, how many students are motivated uh, either the whole class is motivated either some group uh, groups uh, are motivated either some you can say uh, one student or two students are motivated and why they are motivated and what is the impact of their motivation and also demotivation for example uh, what are the main things which really obstructs their learning process either the teacher the teacher personality the teacher you can say attitude the teacher contents the teacher material the teacher methodology is just uh, obstructing their efforts uh, of the successful learning and also the students, uh, for example, maybe you can say from feeling demotivated from the students uh, and also by the students uh, and also the students from the inside, I would say they might be feeling you can say, a bit uh, shy or less confidence, which might be a, uh, be a source of demotivation for the students. So, so in learner profile, we should be very alert to the affective uh, factors of the uh, or students, uh, which includes uh, mainly motivation, uh, demotivation and anxiety. Uh, anxiety means uh, the feeling of you can say being uh, scared uh, maybe uh, from the teacher maybe from the students maybe from the classroom environments maybe from the material maybe from the classroom activity that could, could be couple of you can say uh, source of uh, the anxiety in a case of uh, L2 anxiety includes you can say the language pronunciation the language um, uh, grammar the language uh, for names the language um, structure all these you know, linguistics anxiety could be uh, the source of you can say and also the uh, the student himself or herself you can say inside their mind inside their height they might be scared you can say uh, maybe due to the less of confidence maybe the, uh, due to the bad experience of failure bad experience of you can say with the, with the teacher and the subjects uh, could be also a source of anxiety so we should be very alert as a language teacher to the uh, Mm, anxiety as well and also the cognitive factors for example how much they are critical how much their IQ level is just really working and what kind of you can say IQ level activities you as a teacher you are giving and also the critical thinking for example how they are thinking how they are taking the, your subject how they are uh, taking your information which you are giving you say and also their feedback and know uh, particularly in their presentation either they are they are just taking uh, the things are just uh, Achieving the things, or you are in digesting the things, or may uh, they are, maybe they are coming with their own thoughts, with their own feeling, and uh, you can say, I'm watching or observing or uh, taking this way the, the very taught information or lesson or topics, you can say, in their own way, in, the, in their own way, they are explaining it, in their own logically uh, way, they are explaining it. Uh, so this very critical thinking uh, could be also uh, included in the um, cognitive factors and behavioral factors. I think this is a very important one. Uh, for example, uh, from language learning point of view, for example, if students is motivated, for example, uh, student is uh, loving uh, learning English language or any other L2, uh, but he or she is not making a practical efforts which are just reflected in the behavior language learning behavior so i think uh, the behavior factors uh, such as you can say participation in activities uh, participation you can say in group discussion participation in pre presentation um, uh, could be also noted should be noted in the learner profile 
and also confident. Uh, the belief um, of the students uh, and themselves, you can see, to be able to do something, to write something, to say something, to present something, to do something uh, from the subject point of view, that, uh, that very, you can say, uh, confident um, uh, traits should be also kept in mind in classroom dynamics uh, of the to learn and also to choose for example uh, what is the main mental landscape you can see how the students are you can say taking the thing for example uh, either they are liking your subject either they are liking your method either they are uh, more open you can say and more positive to you as a person as a teacher um, so I think uh, it should also include, you can say, two words um, well, to teacher and uh, to learners and assessment, uh, uh, how they like assessment, uh, what are the things which they don't like assess um, about the assessment and also the material. For example, if I'm, I'm introducing a one topic which is far, far related, uh, you can say, um, to other culture, maybe foreign culture, maybe you can say the very British culture or American culture, uh, how they are taking, um, I mean, what are type of attitude they have to this very these material foreign material so so a learner profiles i think many things uh, should be included and i think learner is just we can say as the core f uh, feature uh, of uh, all the um, um, parts of the classroom dynamics as i what i mean to say that uh, uh, as a language teacher we should consider the l2 profiles uh, in the classroom dynamics so moving on to l2 teacher profile I think that one is really important as a language teacher, as a, as a, a even as, as a common teacher of any other su subject. Uh, I think we should be considering our own personality, either either we are friendly, you can say, either we are open, either we are just positive to our student or not, what kind of a personality we have got, either we, we got authoritative, you can say, uh, personality uh, towards the um, students, uh, either we are standing between, you can say, the friendly or authoritative. Uh, one so and personality so many other factors could be included and also l2 competency for example l2 competency what I, what is your um, you can say as a teacher in your own subject uh, competency here you can say and two as a language to practitioner l2 competencies uh, do you like you can say and how much you know and how much you have a grip you can say conceptual and also you can say imparting uh, your knowledge to the student as well so l2 competency can really be an important i uh, can say element in l2 teacher of the profile of the classroom dynamics and also uh, uh, has or her methods uh, methods of teaching for example uh, you are just you can say focusing on a very lecture method or you are just engaging the student for example interactive methods are just you are combining so your methodology of teaching is really important element in a little uh, teacher profile of the classroom dynamics and also you can say your own motivation um, a level of the and also it choose you can say how much you are open and how much you like and how much you you, you dislike you can say your classroom and classroom dynamics and classroom uh, activities and classroom you can say teaching processes and also a way that's assessment for example some teacher I have noted uh, that they are just you can say at the end of the lecture they might be putting the question at the end of the at the uh, whole session they might be uh, putting the you can say some uh, assessment tools uh, and some teacher are just you can say at the end uh, at the beginning at the middle uh, and sometime you can say abruptly they are just putting the question just to assist the students either they are learning something or not so either you are what on what you can say paradigm you as a language teacher are just standing either you are combining you can say the very summative or you can say the process process way of assessment or also you can say the attitudes um, either you like you can say so to bring uh, some other extra materials you just to make the things clear or not or just you are just you can say not bringing even the materials and developing the materials so that the concepts uh, the topics uh, of your subject could really be you can say uh, made uh, easy um, and easily understood by the uh, students uh. And also group dynamics. Uh, group dynamics, I think, uh, it's a very recent concept and in terms of, you can say, um, mm, making the classroom environment very friendly and bringing the discipline and also, you can say, uh, engaging uh, the students uh, uh, and more meaningful and, uh, you can say, activities. And uh, as we know that in the classroom, we have very limited time, but we have many students. Uh, so all these students should be engaged or uh, maybe you can say to pair maybe groups maybe or you can say the teacher and the whole classroom so there are different you can see groups uh, and uh, groups of formation 
Um, so I think we should be, as a language teacher, in a, gro in a group dynamics, you can say we in should be including the group dynamics. Uh, so L2 learner and two teacher perception about the, uh, the, about the group dynamics. Um, uh, perception, for example, what are their ideas, what are their opinion about, you can say, to teacher and, and the group dynamics. And also, is there any, you can say, existence and following of the group dynamics in a classroom or not? We should be noting and identifying this very element as well. And also, you can say, um, if there is, ex you can say, um, existing, uh, existence of the group dynamics either these group dynamics you can say are have some you can say discipline and norms in the rules to be followed uh, to achieve you can say the very um, goals of you can say effective learning and also the management of the groups for example uh, how the teacher how the students are you can say are managing you can say and coordinating all these group dynamics uh, so group dynamics is very important for example if a teacher gives a topic you can see the students then the students are divided into different groups you can see to repeat it to listen it and also you can say says something as well and students uh, uh, group uh, can really be helpful uh, and this is one of the uh, key part of the classroom dynamics uh, and also l2 syllabus um and classroom dynamic, uh, that one is really important one uh, in terms of you can say that it can bring together the students, uh, it can uh, the student and teachers, or uh, vice versa. Um, so, what kind of a syllabus a teacher is just following? Uh, I think uh, is a um, a teacher and students should know so about the kinds of the English syllabus. Is the syllabus relevant or interesting? This that one is just really important because uh, most uh, of the syllabuses are just introduced, you can say, which are not interesting and irrelevant, and uh, finally the student uh, feeling demotivated. Either the syllabuses are short or you can say lengthy. Uh, that very sub uh, element of L2 syllabus in the classroom dynamics is very important to be considered. And the contents are arranged. Are uh, the contents are arranged from the simple to complex? You can say paradigm or just vice versa. Um, so that one should be considered and example and illustration are included of the given topics uh, of the given contents uh, is there any you can say example or illustration of any topic so that the topics uh, uh, could be really understood easily by the student uh, and what sort of assessment is encouraged by the guru syllabuses either the syllabus is encouraged you can say the very Mm, submitting, I mean, at the, taking the you can say the test and evaluation and examination at the end of the semester. And what sort of mode? I mean, reading and writing based on just including other skill as well. So, the fourth one is just you can say assessment and evaluation, a part of the L two classroom dynamics, which uh, um, which we should consider either the evaluation and assessment is based on the process based assessment evaluation are product based uh, process process mean for example if there is a one or oh, oh, if we take it you can say the syllabus for, at the scale of one and ten so the process include you can say one three five seven ten or one four eight nine ten so it's before reaching to the final you can say ten points uh, we we cover so many points as well and these points are just coming under the process of you can say process assessment and product assessment for example uh, at the scale of one and ten you can say that it when we when we reach this ten i mean at the end of the line uh syllabus then we take the examination so this is called a product based uh, syllabus so we should be considering this very process and product based assessment in the classroom dynamics and also um either the assessment is based on um, written or oral or both uh, that one is just really important because in most cases the, the written assessment is encouraged or in practice and also grading marking system for example we should be you can say uh, considering in the classroom dynamics as well and also the feedback of the assessment and evaluation that's very important which is very rare because uh, after the taking the examination and evaluation uh, the students are just told you can say the, the grading uh, but not you can say the feedback you can say for example the, the teacher's opinion you can say overall the weakness and the strength of the students form of the written maybe in discussion form as well um, so that one is just really important so 
um, recapturing the uh, you can say today uh, topic it was about the classroom dynamics and the classroom dynamics uh, we have discussed the definition of the classroom dynamics and also the four element elements of the classroom dynamics which includes you can say two learner profile the two teacher profile group dynamics and uh, assessment and evaluation thank you so much this is the end of the lecture